It's week one of the 2016 Texas high school football season, and we are kicking things off in style with a giant slate of matchups. This is my son, Bart. He owns a factory downtown. We're fixing to pick him. Welcome in to Fixin' the Pick'em in partnership with the NFHS Networks, your guide to the Texas High School Football Weekend. My name is Greg Tepper of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com. Thank you for tuning in. We made it through the offseason, people. Texas High School Football is finally here. And what a week one slate we've got. We start in Austin. 7.30 p.m. Friday night at Ebby Neptune Field at Chaparral Stadium in Austin. It's the Westlake Chaparrales welcoming in the Katy Tigers in a collage of 6A Titans. What do we make of this one? Key number one, Westlake's pass protection. Seems kind of weird to be the top thing, but this is so critical to this game. Katy's got two outstanding defensive ends in Corey Bethley and Michael Mattis. And meanwhile, Westlake just got some very bad news from the UIL that their offensive tackle, Stefan Zabi, has been ruled ineligible. How does the Westlake offensive line reshuffle things and make sure that that Katy defensive front doesn't wreak havoc. Key number two, is this the same old Katy? So go back to the 2015 6A Division II state champion Katy Tigers. That team was dominant. It was as physically impressive as you may ever see a Texas high school football team. So what does the 2016 team look like? They lose a fair amount of key pieces from last year's team. Uh, we know what they're going to be about. They want to play great defense and they want to run the ball. And they have their new star running back in DeAndre Glass. But how quickly can the Katy team gel? And key number three, Sam Ellinger. You know, this guy. The quarterback for Westlake is one of the most physically talented players in the state, and he will be the best player on the field on Friday night when Katie takes on Austin Westlake. How much of an impact does this guy have on the game? Who am I picking? It's very close, but I like Katie in this one. I think they're the more complete team right now. Even on the road, defense does travel. And I really have big-time questions about this Westlake offensive line, especially going up against what's going to be an outstanding Katie pass rush. I think Austin Westlake gets their points. I think Sam Ellinger has a chance to take over this game. But for now, I like DeAndre Glass and Katie to run to a very close win. Meanwhile, out east, 7 p.m. Thursday night at Tyler's Rose Stadium, a fantastic 4A matchup, pitting Gilmer against Texarkana Liberty Ilo. What are the keys to this one? Well, number one, Liberty Ilo's physicality. This is a big, beefy, muscular, strong, physical Liberty Ilo team, led by their defensive end, Legarian Carson, big offensive tackle, Franklin Smith, their linebacker core with Michael Lindley. This Liberty Ilo team wants to impose its will physically. Can they do that? Key number two, Gilmer's speed. The Buckeyes have athletes all over the field, whether it's Colin Hurd or LaMarcus Morton or Kelton Collier, Everyone on this Gilmer team can run. They're going to want to get the ball out on the edges and expose what may be a half-step slower Liberty Ilo team. Can Gilmer get out on the edges and run, or can Liberty Ilo contain them in the middle of the field? And key number three, starting fast. Let's not forget that this is week one of the Texas high school football season. This is the first meaningful game that all of these teams have played. So who is able to put it all together early? Can anybody in this game, Gilmer or Liberty Ilo, jump out to a 14, 20, 24 point lead in the first quarter of the first half? The team that starts the quickest will have a big advantage in this game. Who am I picking? I like Gilmer in this one. Right now, I just think they have so many weapons on offense and so much speed all over the field that I'm not sure Liberty Ilo can match up with them. Don't get me wrong. Legarian Carson is going to be the best player on the field here. He is an absolute monster at the defensive end position. But I think Gilmer can get out on the edge and run, and that's where I think the Buckeyes take home the win. 7 o'clock Friday at Alvin Memorial Stadium. It's the Manville Mavericks taking on the Crosby Cougars. Manville dropping down from 6A to Class 5A. And they, they have a little bit of rebuilding to do, but a couple of big-time weapons like Keelan Stokes and Derek Tucker. How does Crosby match up with them? I expect to see a lot of Manny Netherly from Crosby, maybe even playing quarterback. But for now, I think Manville has the slight edge. 7.30 p.m. Friday night at Cavalier Stadium in Lake Travis. It's Converse Judson visiting the Lake Travis Cavaliers. Battle of terrific quarterbacks in this one. Julon Williams, the junior for Converse Judson, going up against Charlie Brewer at Lake Travis. I think these two quarterbacks are going to put on a show, but for now, I like the home team. Give me the Cavs. 
And 7.30 p.m. Friday night in Amarillo at Dick Biven Stadium. It's Lubbock Cooper taking on the Amarillo Golden Sandstorm. Two West Texas teams you need to know about. Lubbock Cooper's got a great safety in Ty Thomas and a terrific quarterback in Jarrett Dagey. Amarillo's got to rebuild this wing tee offense on the fly, but that defense with Ellis Newkirk's going to keep him in the game. I think this game's very close, very exciting, but I like Lubbock Cooper by a smidge. And of course, we have to mention the bevy of big time matchups pitting Texas teams against non Texas teams. We've got teams from Alabama, Oklahoma, Florida all coming and playing in Texas. So uh, let's run through my picks for those. I'm going to go with Texas and 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 uh, Texas. <laughs> But those are far from the only big games in week one of the Texas high school football season. Let's get to the lightning round. I like Alito over Colleyville Heritage. Canadian wins their 3A debut over Bushland. And let's go with Liberty Hill over LaGrange. I'm taking Denton Geyer over Mansfield Lake Ridge. La Maquina Amarilla, El Couch Elsa over Los Fresnos. And let's go with El Paso Eastlake over El Paso El Dorado. In six-man action, I like Happy over Sterling City. I'm going to go with Ira Ann over Crane and San Antonio Stevens to nip Kerrville Tyvee. Three very tough games to call, but I'm going to go with San Angelo Central over Abilene, Lufkin over Longview, and Mason over Goldthwaite. I like Newton to beat Kirbyville, Austin Vandegrift to beat Odessa Permian, and let's take Temple over Belton. And finally, I like the defending champs West Orange Stark to beat Nederland, and I'm taking Wharton to beat Sealy. That's going to do it for Fixing the Pick'em in partnership with the NFHS Networks. What am I wrong about? Which games did I miss? Leave comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at DCTF. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Campbells. Follow us on Instagram, instagram.com slash Campbells, And of course, see us at texasfootball.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome to high school football. We'll see you next week.